Hey there. So in this video, I'm going to go through uh, in detail some of the questions that we didn't have a chance to do in detail in class. So first is the mechanism for this reaction. So good nucleophile with a good electrophile. There's that first collision in the reaction. Okay, so there's that first tetrahedral intermediate. That tetrahedral intermediate can collapse. Expel that leaving group. And I'm going to run out of room, so I'm just going to move this over. So diisopropyl ethyl amine, or also known as Hoenig's base, a strong non-nucleophilic base, really useful for these reactions to deprotonate, and that'll get us to the final product. that equation there we go uh, a couple people have had asked in class if the uh, acid base step could have happened first instead of that um, instead of the collapse of the tetrahedral intermediate so yeah that's another possible way uh, to have done that so you might alternatively have deprotonated in that step and then after that you might have done the um, the collapse of the tetrahedral intermediate so you can show those in either direction um, in terms of reversibility of the reaction, I mean, certainly that first step uh, is technically reversible, although that basic good nucleophile, uh, but a poor leaving group. So I might show that actually more like very mini reversibility. Um, still technically this next step is, is reversible, but that leaving group is so great. And the nitrogen, uh, it's such a good leaving group, such a uh, much worse than nucleophile compared to the nitrogen. And so that, yeah, technically reversible, but the activation energy would be pretty high. Um, and then in terms of the final acid base reaction, well, we're looking at a pK of about 11 versus a pK of about um, 11 of about 11 versus a pk of uh what would that be maybe minus two ish so that acid base equilibrium would also really favor the product so again all effectively irreversible reactions